For this project you're gonna need an FPGA experiment board, something to power it with, a USB blaster programmer, and a computer. And a computer. And a computer. Okay, so we're gonna start by going to the Altera download center, scrolling down a bit, and we're gonna go select by device. I'm using a Cyclone, uh, Cyclone 4. This is what I'm gonna select uh, right there. Then I'm gonna go to Web Edition, which is free to download. And we're gonna download and install the Quartus software. So make sure your device is uh, in this list. And I'm actually gonna uncheck the other ones. I'm not interested interested in those. Then you're gonna hit download selected files. So go ahead and do that. And when you have completed the download, just go ahead and install the software. All right, so now it's time to create our project. So we go to file, new project wizard, next. Uh, give the project a name. I'm gonna call mine Lead Blink. Next, next, next. And here you wanna select the correct device family. So I'm using this one. And you should go through this list to find your device. I'm using this device, so I'm gonna select that. Next, next, and finish. Alright, so the next step is you go new, we're going to select VHDL file, hit OK, and uh, here we're going to actually write our code. So now we're gonna press save, save, and it's actually time to connect our experiment board to the computer. So we're gonna insert the USB cable that will power the FPGA, and then on the other side we're gonna insert the USB blaster programmer. And then just hook that up into your computer. If you're having trouble with getting your USB blaster working, uh, you could try this trick. So you go to device manager and the first time I uh, connected my USB blaster I actually had uh, a warning signal here uh, telling me that something was wrong with the drivers basically. So what you can do uh, if you have this warning signal uh, right click and go update driver. Then you select browse my computer and you basically go to your Quartus install uh, location. Uh, then drivers and USB blaster. Uh, include subfolders and you hit next and install that. And by the way I realized that I was a little bit sloppy when writing the code. So we want a semicolon right here and of course after this line. And this should not be less than or equal to, it should be just equal to. So save that. And the last thing we're gonna do before compiling this is we're gonna go assignments, pin planner. And here we can see our clock and LED input output. So you're gonna wanna check your data sheet for your experiment board to find which uh, pins to connect these to. For me, uh, I can go with clock to 24 and the LED to pin one. Exit that and now we are gonna compile. Hit this start compilation.
So now when our compilation is complete, we can open our programmer. Uh, hardware setup, and you should be able to see your USB blaster right here. So add that. Close. And press add file. So now we're going to go to output files and find this .sof file. Press start and everything will be written to the FPGA. So let's now see if this actually worked. And as you can see, we have a blinking LED. Amazing. So anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe.